Hey there, I'm Charlotte, the Gulf Coast Granny. Today, we are in the kitchen, and I've got something really cool that I want to show you. We're going to make poor man's lobster. Now, I did this on a live stream a few weeks ago, but I wanted to make a video that was somewhat searchable, so that way, if you ever want to find it, you can just type it in, and it'll be there. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up some cod into bite-sized pieces. Now this cod has a little bit of a different texture than the last fish that I used. Um, I've seen multiple recipes on this dish. Some people use halibut, some people use cod, and some people say you can use any white flaky fish that you want to use. Um, so I tried the halibut the first time and let me tell you it was delicious. So this time I have cod. And I wanted to see if I got the same results with the cod as I did with the halibut. Now, we've got our fish chunked up. What I have here is a two-quart saucepan, and it's got four cups of water in it. I am also going to add the juice from half of a lemon. And about a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to let this come to a boil. Shouldn't take too long. I'm going to stick a little bit more lemon juice in there. Now the idea is that the sugar and the lemon juice change the texture of the fish and make it more like a lobster. Now with the halibut, it definitely worked. So we're going to find out with this cod here. Now I'm going to stir this all together to make sure the sugar is dissolved. Now that'll be the last time we stir that pot. I'm gonna got my fish, and I'm just gonna dump it in. And if you'll notice, that fish sinks to the bottom. We'll know that fish is finished when it starts to float. There is one thing I forgot to add, and I'm gonna put it in there now. It's about a half a teaspoon, maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. Call it a half. Turn this down just a little bit so it doesn't boil over. And I'll take some of the foam off the top so you can see the fish. And now they are starting to come to the top. So what I've done is I've covered this plate with a paper towel so the fish can drain. I'm only going to scoop the ones that are floating. But honestly, it looks like all of them are floating. Maybe one or two stragglers at the bottom. Now this fish seems to have flaked a little bit more than the halibut did. So basically, I'm saying it didn't hold together as well. But it's still together. You see how the cod kind of flaked apart a little bit in the boiling water? That did not happen with the halibut. Um, and I'm not saying that one is any better than the other yet. We'll find out in a minute. So there's only two more steps. One is this Old Bay seasoning. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit on the top. And you can't have lobster without butter. So let me microwave this real quick. And then we'll taste test this poor man's lobster. Now instead of dunking it, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it because I'm afraid that the fish might have a problem holding together. And I did add a little bit of garlic to this butter before I melted it. Ooh, that looks yummy. Okay, let's try some poor man's lobster. The cod tasted more like lobster than the halibut. But the texture of the halibut was better than the texture of the cod. The cod is still fairly flaky, but it tastes really, really good. And it's a good thing too because I haven't had lunch today. So this is lunch. Go ahead and try yourself some of this poor man's lobster. And don't forget to hit the like button below. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you again real soon, all right?